Greetings from India. This is Nirbhay Johan for Make Love Via Self Learning Tutorials, where in this tutorial we will be discussing the basic interface of the FreeCAD. In the previous tutorial, we have discussed that how we can download and install uh, this software from the FreeCAD repositories, and we had also discussed how this web page. So right now we have opened the main window of the FreeCAD. Just simply clicking on it, we are on the executable file of the FreeCAD. So if you see on the main screen, you get this, uh, this toolbars and this start page. So here is a dialog box for starting a new project or a part design object or architectural design, shape design, working with meshes. Then here you have your recent files. Then there are some news from the FreeCAD web regarding the latest commits they have done. Then you get the some of the other separate news and the other useful links like the user manual tutorials then here are some sample projects the example files uh, by the freecad so here you have the main toolbars the file where from your, where you can create a new file you can open an existing file then edit toolbars then you have the view options tools macros windows help so the very first thing uh, you can see here the main things these are the workbenches like there are some separate additional workbenches that i have installed here the very basic that you get are the arc workbench complete draft drawing workbench exported assembly fem workbench image inspection mesh design open scad part design and several others like the sketcher very useful tool so these are set of workbenches which can be used interrelated to each other so you can go from one workbench to another workbench as for your requirement so if you discuss the toolbars like you can create a new file from here so you get a very basic screen this blue screen here then edit menu you have various options the view you have the orthographic view, perspective view, then several standard views you have and some other options. Uh, the very basic interface you want to know. So like here you have this option like right now we have set the touchpad options and if you just scroll over it, it will just tell you the available operations that you can use using your keyboard and the mouse. So everything is ex explained here. So if you want to just move around by Alt and the Shift key and you can zoom. Everything is properly shown on this dialog box. So if you shift to any, another navigation like the open elementor and just drag here, it will just tell you some other operations as per the requirement and as per the particular navigation style similarly you have the blender style here also and for that there are some other uh, style to operate the software so basically the approach that we will be using throughout will be the touchpad that makes it easier to use it so now this is a very basic tutorial where you have discussed about the basic interface of this so in the windows you can see the tile option so this will give you the two windows then you can have the cascade like you have several four or five windows you can just adjust them here then you can arrange the icons for time being we don't need any such windows so what we can do is just simply have this on full screen mode then these are the macros like you can record the macros whatever just do the operations here regarding python or any physical modeling you can just record that as a particular macro and you can just later on execute that and use that as your inbuilt program this can be a very mini program like we have already many inbuilt macros here which are very useful so for to use you can just simply click on that and execute so they will be just running as one of your macros for that as a mini programs which can save a lot of your time then you have several tools like you can edit your parameter, you can save the picture and you can measure distance, customize the toolbar also. 
um, one more thing you can see here like these are the workbenches the toolbars that you can show and hide then the panels like we are using the combo view so if you just remove it you have the blank screen so make sure you have shifted to the and you have selected the combo view here to open the python console just simply you can just choose this also like you can just work here from the coding workbench you can just type your commands and use this for the python workbench like the python if you know the coding and all those things you have know the python um, commands you can use it then there's some other operation like clipping plane you can clip the plane in the x direction or the y direction or the any z direction then you can add the texture also so these are some of the things you can just easily understood when you'll be going to the workbenches and, and making the models so you can just understand them better easily when we will just using them practically and physically here then these are the selecting techniques like the box selection then the very important thing is here preferences if you just click on it you can change the preferences for the particular import and export the part design display general in the general you can change the units you can change the language you can change the style sheet there you can customize the software working style as per your own requirement you can change the units here so in the display you have this 3d view options then the color menu you can change the screen color like you can change the simple color here now it's black but we prefer this gradient colors only you can change apples as per your requirement and desire also then you have the line colors line width and the shape color like everything is predefined here will not be just not be disturbing them you can change your as per your requirement if you want so that's all we discuss here so see you in the next tutorial guys we will be discussing the very first workbench that is the arc workbench this is the main sole workbench of the freecad so see you in the next tutorial guys thanks for watching